Hello everyone, Professor Lloyd here. Today we are going to see the lecture number 7 in CME, that is Construction Management and Entrepreneurship. Last class we have seen the equipment like excavators and the lifting equipments. We have seen the prompts on top. Now today we will see the next equipment as bulldozers. So bulldozers, it is sometimes even called as a dozers also. The track link crawlers or even it has a wheel based also are perhaps the most basic and versatile items of equipment in the construction industries. Basically, dozers are designed to provide high drawbar pull and traction effort and they are standard equipment for land clearing, dozing and assisting the scrapper loading. They can be equipped with a rear mounted ventures or rippers also. The dozers, um, they, they can do the many such operations such as moving earth or rock for a short haul distance around 100 meter, uh, spreading earth or rock fills, backfill trenches, opening up uh, pilot roads through mountainous or some rocky terrain, clearing the floors of uh, borrow and quarrel, quarry pits. Mm, helping load tractor or pulled scrappers, clearing land of timber or some root mat and green grass and kind of stuff for making the way for the some construction work. And this is what this is the reason why we call it as a dozer or bulldozer. Bulldozer means hack like a bulls. Uh, which makes him to clear the whatever in front, whatever the JCB you call generally uh, in uh, locally we call it JCB na. it has bulldozer and even excavator or we can call it as a hoe combination of both. So, what are the front loading you got? It got the dozers. Even if you have the different blades here, some have a S blade, A blade and U blade. Depend upon that, the capacity to carry the material and all its changes. The, the straight S blade is used, whatever is there is used for push, pushing of the earth and U blade has a large capacity and that is used for pushing loose material and A blades are used for pushing the soils to one side rather than the hauling it forward as in required in the kill road formation cutting and all and sometimes even you have the P blade which is used for pushing or loading a scrapper. This is how you are going to calculate the dozer output data ok the dozer optimum output is nothing but dozer ideal output into the correction factor a dozer output for planning data is nothing but this dozer optimum output into performance factor you are going to add it or generally you can write in one equation only dozer output is nothing but dozer ideal output into correction factor into performance factor this is how you are going to calculate this for this there is a different corrections leads to the following effect like blade factor multiplying transmission system grade factor that is depend upon natural slope and all if you have uphill or downhill you want to look into that soil factors ok these corrections measures you have to remember here or you have to note it down so I will show it from the textbook page this is how the bulldozers looks like ok and these are the different parameters you have to look out when they given you in the prompts. So, first is the blade factor multiplying, you have S blade, A blade, U blade, this is a blade factor you want to multiply depend upon the kind of the soil. That is a transmission system, it takes 80 percent of the ideal output based on the power shift system. Then if you have the grade factors like natural slope, like downhill, uphill working, increase by 2.5 times or decrease by 2 grade, ok, you have to remember this. Soil factor depend upon the effort, easy dig, medium dig, hard dig, you have this kind of the soil factors you have to add. And lastly the swelling factor it is given by the bank cubic meter bulk or the loose volume divided by the swell factor that is given for the soil. Let us solve the problem on a dozer. So what are the given let us see the problem. Determine the output of the bulldozer having 
215 HP engine fitted with a A blade and the related capacity has 4.40 meter cube. The what dozer is employed for excavating a hard clay area with an average haulage of 50 meter on a ground with the up slope it is of 15 percent. It has a direct drive transmission and is expected to perform 50 minutes per hour and the ideal output per hour for a 50 meter haulage of 215 horsepower with the A blade capacity of something 4.40 meter cube it given as 160 lcm that you can check in a table that is what the first table they given for different excavator and all ok. Then you have the correction factor soil factor for hard digging it is 0.67 blade factor for A is 0.75 transmission factor for direct drive 0.8 swelling factor for laying soil is 1.5 performance factor for 50 minutes per hour whatever is there it is given as 0.83 or 80, 83 percentage.